Let's talk about how a system administrator will deploy their edit on demand system. Firstly, if you go to the Avid website, avid.com, and sign into your My Avid account. From here, you can redeem your activation code. In the My Accounts page under My Products, click on the Register Software with Code and enter the code that you've received after purchasing your subscription. Once entered, click on Register Product. You will then be taken to the My Products page and underneath the Avid Edit On Demand Credits tab, you will see your newly deposited credits. Underneath the Services tab, notice I have three types of credits at my disposal. The top is the one month subscription. This comes in monthly or weekly variants. There's a required minimum for each Edit On Demand deployment. Below this, we have our add-on services like the Nexus Cloud Storage, which is the storage editors will edit from, and our advanced seats, which enables us to deploy media composers for the editors to connect to and edit. The next column is the region, and this is important when purchasing your credits, as it defines which Azure region your credits can be deployed into. And lastly, the quantity column. This is the number of credits you currently have for each one of the available services. The great thing about the credit system is it enables you to dynamically deploy a subscription or multiple subscriptions as and when you need, giving you ultimate flexibility to scale a system on the fly as productions evolve. So you don't have to use all of your available credits in one hit. Instead, utilize them at any time as needed. Run out of credits then simply purchase more to meet your present or future needs. So let's take a look at just some of the ways that our available credits can be utilized. Click on the Use Credits button to start deploying your credits. You'll then be into the Create Subscription page where we can get an overview of what we have available and start thinking about how we want to roll out our subscription. Let's set up a scenario. In this first instance, I need to have a system available for two months. First, select the region you want to deploy your subscription into. I only have the West Europe region available to me because I only have credits for that region. You can select from different regions if you have credits available in them. Just remember though, you cannot mix and match credits between different regions. Below this, you have your credits table, which we looked at previously, and then you can select the term for the subscription. I only have monthly credits in my setup, but weekly credits are also available for those who have production needs that run on a week to week basis. Next, select a start date. This could be the present date or it could be a future date. And then below that, we can see the data download available for each of the months in our subscription. Now let's start deploying our credits. I said in my scenario, we had a production that lasted for two months. You see, we have our first month already added in and we can see the available credits now being updated. Let's add our second month. Now we have two months available and you can see again, our available credits have been updated for the term. Let's add our additional services. So in the first month, we want to add one terabyte of storage. And in the second month, we also want to add one terabyte of storage. If you are unsure of the exact requirements for your production, you can always come back and add more at a later stage as you need. Next, let's add some media composers. And I know in this instance, I need two media composers in the first month, so I'll add two. In the second month, I only need a single media composer, so I'll simply add one and then when you are happy, click Next. Now you can choose from a Media Composer version to be used for your deployment. This list is a select list of Media Composer versions qualified for Edit On Demand. I'm going to select the latest and greatest. Then enter a prefix name for your subscription. This is the name that will be used as a prefix across your entire deployment. Click on the question mark to see what characters are supported for your prefix. I'm going to name the system EOD System 1. Click Next, and then we can see an overview of our subscription. You can read and accept the terms and conditions, and then when you're ready, click Create Subscription. Your system will then begin deployment. This can take a few hours, and you will receive a notification once it is complete and ready for you to start adding users and configuring the Nexus workspaces. You can now also see that our available credits have been updated. As I mentioned, the credits give you ultimate flexibility in how you deploy. What if a new job or production suddenly comes in that requires its own subscription? 
The great thing about having additional credits at my disposal is that I can quickly spin up another subscription using them. So let's put forward another scenario. Whilst we're waiting for our first system to deploy, we get a call that we need another system immediately. So let's use our available credits to start a second subscription. Click on the Use Credits button, and then you will have a choice to either create a new subscription or update an existing subscription. In this scenario, we're gonna create a new subscription and we'll come back and look at updating a subscription later. Click Confirm, and this time we're gonna create a single month with two terabytes of Nexus and one seat of Media Composer. Again, we can then choose a Media Composer version for the deployment and create a new prefix for the system name, which should be different from the first one. Click Next and then confirm the details for deployment of the new system. Now we can see our second subscription is also being deployed and will be available for us in a few hours. We can of course use our remaining credits at any time to also update one of our existing subscriptions. Click on the Edit On Demand Subscription tab and we can now see the two subscriptions we've already created. If we wanted to update the first subscription to have some additional services, simply choose the appropriate subscription and click on the Update Subscription button. Now we can see what services have already been deployed as part of this subscription and the terms for that subscription also. Next, we can see our available remaining credits, which we can use to then either add additional terms, so if we want to add additional months, or alternatively, add additional services. So let's go in and add some more services. In this scenario, we're going to add an extra terabyte of Nexus storage for the first month. So we can add another credit, and then we can start the term at the same time as the rest of the system. And you see our available credits are updated. We can also add additional seats of Media Composer. Choose a quantity of additional months or weeks depending on the credits you have, and then choose a start date. The start date can be any time during your subscription, but just remember you need a base weekly or monthly subscription to be active in order for it to function. But for now we'll hit the minus button and just add our single extra terabyte of Nexus storage to our first month. Let's click next and accept the updates to our subscription. Back in the My Products page, we can see the additional storage we've added to our first subscription. In the next video, we'll look at how we start adding users and also how we manage workspaces in our cloud nexus.